Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode one of Until Dawn. Um, and there's my face again. Hello, you've not seen this in quite a while, have you? Um, I did say quite a while back that um, in the case that I may not bring face cam back to my regular videos, um, I will bring them back for the scary base games. Now, this is more of a jump scare kind of game. It's not really that freaky. I mean, I guess it could be to like a younger audience maybe, but seeing as I have played this before, um, it's not scary on the level of Amnesia. I mean, that game was pretty freaking scary, which obviously definitely required the, f the face cam thing, but, you know, I haven't played this game in about half a year, maybe even more than that, so I don't remember the game. I've only played it the one time, never watched it since, except for on channels before I made the, well, before I played the game, actually. Um, so I thought whilst replaying it, I might do the face cam. If it doesn't work out too well, I might not carry it on, but I thought I might at least might as well try it for the first episode. So, uh, without further ado, let's just fire it straight up. So, as I have said, uh, this isn't my first time playing it. In fact, I already have the platinum for this tro for this um, game, but we will be getting all the trophies again. I mean, obviously I've already got them, I'll just show you the requirements for them. Because there are different endings, sort of, another level of heavy rain, but um, your outcome can change through actions that you do in the game called like the butterfly effect. Um, but it'll explain more about that once we do it. Now these episodes are going to be 30 minutes long just like every other series that I do. Well, there you go. Jump scare number one. <laughs> I was not expecting that one. Um, there are actual actual collectibles in this game unlike in Heavy Rain. Um, and now my PS4 starting to get noisy so apologies for that. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you, I'm not going to show you the butterfly effect area, but just to prove, um, if you just have a quick gander, don't look too much at anything, because I'm just showing you the fact that there is collectibles, which we will be finding, uh, including totems, everything will be explained while we're doing that. Episodes, it does kind of carry across episode-wise, uh, there are 10 episodes in total, I can't quite remember how long they're all at, they all are, so uh, there will be an episode per episode, like an episode as in what I upload, I don't know. I know that it will be 30 minutes, so if one carries over into the other, then I don't really have a problem with that. Um, so, without further ado, let's get straight on into a new story. Can you shut up? Please. Setting a new story will overwrite your current. Yes, I don't care. Alright. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Interesting. So that's kind of what this game revolves around the butterfly effect. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape your ship how the story unfolds. So this does definitely, more than heavy rain, show how much your decisions matter from what I'm remember playing of it. The butterfly effect is definitely more prevalent in this. Your story is one of many possibilities. So we're going to go for the best ending first obviously, get all the collectibles and stuff like that. Choose your actions carefully. Indeed. Even very minor choices what you think in this game has a big can have a big impact on whether a character survives or not. So that's what this game is basically about. You've got, I think it's eight characters, if I remember, and they've all got to survive until dawn. Dun dun dun, credits roll, you know. Alright. Spooky. Oh, he got a machete. on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. <laughs> Maybe we got a curious little Nancy over here. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. What's happening? She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Oh, looks like they're playing, playing a prank. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Oh. I don't like this guy, he looks pretty creepy. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh! <laughs> they drank. We all been there. Oh. Damn. The boys are at cold. Use the right to look around. Objects that glue can be inspected. Alright. Um, how do we inspect? Oh, X. Pick the bottle. Yes, Jeremiah Craig. Yes, I'm expecting. Okay. Jeez, Josh. <coughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we've all been there. We've all been there. I'm still on like R2 to move because I'm used to playing Heavy Rain now. Um, what's that? Alright. I know you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at two AM, Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh dear. Got your note? Glad you came Maybe we should start with a little you know, making out. See where it goes well, that's right. cruel, dude. That is cruel. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. She's taking your shirt off. What? Oh my god. Whoa. Hannah, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, Let's all get out of here. Whoa. Uh, These guys are jerks. You know that? Yeah, they are jerks. Bruh. Tight ass. Oh, she's going. She's on the run. Oh no, the creepy guy's out there. Um. Alright, so to choose. What? You know what? Find the others. Guys! What? There's someone outside. What the hell? Didn't mean to do that. I thought she would. <laughs> Hannah! Hannah. What's going Anna? on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Mm, true. It's the correct button for a time run, though. Oh, I'm not oh, keen to ease. I forgot about these. Yeah, that's a bit loud. Where's that coming from? Go from my controller. Uh the controller. Uh sound like it came from our Ah. Okay, right. Because I have my um, headset plugged into my TV rather than the controller because it doesn't record the sound if I've plugged it into my controller, so... Alright, okay. Let's resume. Uh, fast. Yeah, I've got to go fast. Got to go fast. Alright, let's go. Keep an eye out for the cute trees. Because the noise could be the creepy dude. Oh, god damn. Did you not realise that the, the freaking footprints were elk? Oh dear, whatever. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Alright. Breathe. Breathe. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Where is Hannah? Easy to roll over again. 
zerspart. Oh, stay this up, babe. Hannah! Whoa. Hey, look at that. Hey. So he's the right stick to move the, um, move the light. I see nothing. I see no Hannahs. I could have thought he told me that. That would have helped a little bit. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's on the floor. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a totem. It's our first totem. That's one of the collectibles in this game, guys. Um, I'm not sure if this one counts, but. Oh, God. That's pretty brutal. Death totem. Ooh, freaky. Freaky. Cheeky freaky. Alright, so Tom basically predict the future, possible outcome, not exactly one that is going to happen, depending on your actions, so it's just kind of a warning to you. So it's like, don't do this, or do this, because sometimes it shows you endings that you do want, or well, outcomes that you do want, I should say. But, uh, I mean, I guess in this scenario it is an ending, because, I mean, they're dying, so... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? That's one of those fun houses, isn't it? So who's just gonna bloody... Hannah. Oh, she's Hannah. gone. Bloody hell. Hello? She must be cold. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh. Shit, bro. Summit's in the forest. Hannah. 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 Why do people always fall over in horror scenarios? Why? Oh great, you got your phone. Wow. Ah. Guess there's no one to call if you get stuck or something. Hmm? Not at all, not quite set up. Right. Uh oh. Oh, freaking hell. No! Look behind you, idiots. It's quite clearly a drop though. She held into that branch there. Hold on! Oh dear, she's losing. Hold on! Oh shit, bro. What do we do? She's trying to help us. Go or drop Hannah. Go. Um, no, I'm not trusting that creepy dude. Oh god, oh, oh. Analyst. Dr. A.J. Hill. You know, I've been checking Before that towards the screen just so I know how long we've been recording for. There are things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom. This revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Hey. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Oh, so every single choice wall. will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. We've just played one of those games, so I mean it's nothing new to me. Bloody hell, getting it close. Hello. Hello. So, you have committed to commence with this game. Yeah. This is significant. It is singing. And I want to help you see it through. Oh, that's good. That's fun. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Oh, thank you for that. But you seem like a really, like, a genuine pedo. All right. So. We will start with a simple exercise. Oh, great. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do just that. Give me the creepy look, dude. Why are you wearing a glove? 
This is kind of freaky. Um, okay. This is a scarecrow in a field. A little bit creepy, but whatever. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, feel uneasy. Okay, I don't feel happy. Honesty is good. But what do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Probably this. Yeah, it's got it's the scarecrow, isn't it? The scarecrow is pretty creepy looking. What I see, I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. I guess. Sure. Nothing <laughs> seems wrong with it. Huh. I like his hat. <laughs> and what if I told you that this cottage mm -hmm. was haunted? No way. No. I'd be scared. I'm not going in a haunted oh. cottage. Alright, alright. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. I don't believe in it, but I mean, it's still pretty creepy. The veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? I don't like how close this guy's getting to me, but... Um... Please remember... <laughs> this is only a game. Stop being such a creep. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. Oh, very sad. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Can we not, please? Could that be potentially put out there? I don't really. I think you're a bit of a creep, but. Okay. That well, was a bit of a creepy dude. Yeah, you have your tea. Or coffee. Probably a crop coffee guy. <laughs> tea is the master drink, guys, you know. Just good brew is all you need. Um, Alright, well that's a copyright strike for Mike on episode 1 of Until Dawn. Probably. I'll keep it in anyway, because I'm too lazy with the editing, and I don't want it to seem unprofessional, the fact that I was just like, oh look, there's absolutely no sound for about, what? I think it's a few minutes though, this last far, which is bad. Hayden... Year. Or I might just turn the audio for this thing like right down. I mean, I guess that could do anything. I don't really think we need to hear blurted music, so I might just try and lower it down so that it's below my uh, voice level. But try our best. There's obviously a lot of creepy images going on there. John Fisher, Nicole Bloom. Um, you know what? While we're watching this, I think oh dear, that was a bit noisy. I should probably load up the collectibles guide because that would be ideal. Um, collectibles. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Martin. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hey, it's the nice guy. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. Well, with all the Washingtons about. tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Uh -huh. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Hey, see you with one of the All drunk right. guys, I'm assuming. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! 
So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, mm -hmm. but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together. Right, so that's, thinking of them. Yeah, so Josh is I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> okay. So they're all going back up to the launch. Oh, that's the flamethrower dude. It's the flamethrower dude. All right. I actually need to bring up my, uh, bring up the timer. Let's see, 21 minutes. Maybe be able to get through um, episode one. Because you know, that was the prologue, the one that we we saw with um, Hannah and Beth. Um, so this isn't that wasn't part of any of the episodes, and neither was the um, psychiatrist thing. You want to call him a psychiatrist? I call him a freaky fucking dude. I would not tell any of my secrets to whatsoever. But hey oh it's like he thrives to make you like freaked out. What a dick. Alright, so. Memento Mori. 10 hours in total. Alright, roll credits again. Alright, Lockwood Pines. Oh my god, that guy. That guy, he's got a beef. Apologies for the siren. I do happen to live in a sort of kind of rough part of Bolton. Nothing new. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Alright. So, here is Sam. Sam I am. Hello? Someone there? Mm hmm. Path to Cable Cow Station, 2102. So, 9.02 pm. So, I apologize that this is going up a little bit late today. Um. Oh yeah, shoot. Oh, no, that's wrong. Hold me, I want to be with me faster. I am recording this, literally. It is ten past ten as I'm recording. It's on the day that it's meant to go up. It has been rather busy, so... Um, apologise. The gate's busted. Climb all about Chris. What? <sighs> Damn it. Not good. How do I get there again? Change it terminus, then take 38 towards... Calgary ask driver to stop at Blackwood Pines, otherwise he won't. Okay. Alright. Um, climb up. Um, we'll do the safe way, it's not a rush. Square. Yes. Um, climb. Don't need no injuries now. Oh. Okay. You think you'd fix the gate if all your friends were coming over? I don't think everyone's going to be able to climb over that wall, but what do you know? Go on. Oh, there's something in the woods. All right, let's go. I just want to check something. Uh, actually, go on. Status thing, so we got the butterfly effect, none of that. Obviously, you can see where I first um, told to. Um, let's see, so you've got the twins 1952 and Mystery Man and Totem, those are the collectibles of the game. Um, so, yeah, um, seconds. I don't know if there's a um, like, I was just checking there was no like difficulty settings because. 
Just in case people that. Why are you playing so easy? There's no difficulty in this game, so. Aww. Oh, it's a little squirrel. Hey, when the dot move icon is on screen, keep the wireless huh? control as soon as possible. I can ah, move. Damn it. Are you getting me? It's okay. That's it. Come on. I gotta. Completely still. There we go. I was like put on my leg last time, so it must have moved with like a vibration or something. All right. So that's how you do that. If you're unsure what to do next, you can do your current objective. Head to the cab at cable cable car station. All right. Let's do that then. Buddies. All right. Looks like something readable is coming up there. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of prophecy. Death. Black butterflies pro prophesied the dream as death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Lost. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. So obviously these are the um, types of totem. That we can also come across. We've got another one. Alright. There's a cobalt butterfly and premonition on the possible future. Yes, yeah, so now we've already seen one of those in the first chapter of the prologue. Alright. Let's have a look. Okay, that was a bit weird. Guidance totem. Don't know what that was all about, but alright. Future isn't certain, that was the one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so that's Guidance one. So that's one of the collectibles done. There is another um, wanted poster which we also need to find or we'll keep a look out for. You here? Bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Hmm. Phone. Nah, close the bag. We don't, don't need to snoop. Maybe I should look for rockers and stuff. Let's fly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. So yes, that was a very minor Chris? decision, but... Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Okay. Oh, so... I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Alright. Um, so I think this is the wanted poster here. So this is the only other collectible in this particular chapter. Yep, there we go. Oh man, look at this. Wanted, Milgram nice. Victor. I think we'll get a visit from a nurse. Sex male, hi, uh, yada yada yada. So. Wanted in connection with the oh, first degree on. arson offence as well as various here. death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BEPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Pro Provincial Mounted cons Constabulary Police Monte Provincial de Blackwood, July 1998. That's a long time ago. Alright. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Pretty rad. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. All right. Here goes. And it's Chris now. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Yep. Chris, I have to use a shoot. Oh, okay. Alright, so obviously you can see we're on a timer before the. Boom! That's right. That's right. Alright, I'm bad. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it 
was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh, we're going again. Um, shoot the bottle. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, it's a squirrel. No, I'm not shooting the squirrel. I am not shooting that diddly darn squirrel. That is just cruel. Yeah, we're going for the bag, bro. <laughs> just cruel to shoot. I bet she'd be nice pissed off anyway. Your ass just got sacked. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is me. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Butterfly effect update. Status update. All right, let's have a look at that then. Where's the cable car? Okay, so our relationship went up with Sam. All right, cool. Um, so obviously you can see we got our wanted poster. We have one out of thirty. We got our um, guidance totem. Butterfly effect. So we've got our first two here. So any of your business. Sam respected Chris's privacy. Sam was happy to see Sam. Okay. Rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Alright, excellent. And so, yeah. Anyway, um, let's have a look. We're just over the time, but are you, are you guys really that bothered? I don't think you are. Um, so that is where we're going to end it for today, ladies and germs. In the next episode, we will obviously carry on with the story. There's nothing really much else to say there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of new style, you know, with the face come in there if you like it then let me know if you don't like it let me know and um, obviously be sure to like comment and subscribe and also be sure to share the video and I'll see you guys in episode 2 bye guys